Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Tula with another new video. Autodex Revit Reinforcement Detailing of Column. So you know that till our previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll create detailing for our foundation and also how we'll create our dwell bar. Okay, now in this lecture, I'm just going to show you that how we'll create reinforcement detailing for our columns. Okay, so let's start. So before starting, if you're new to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also if you like my videos and if you also want to support me, then you can join as a member by using that join option. So uh, to create our reinforcement detailing for column, first of all, we have to select that column. Okay, and for which column we want to do that. And from here must, you have to provide the clear cover. Okay, you have to provide here clear cover. So I'm randomly considering our clear cover 1.5 inch. Okay, here from here you have to consider your clear cover. After that, you have to come here extension. Okay, because um, and also in our previous some lecture, I've shown you that how we'll use that default option, that reward option, okay, a structural reward option to place our reward. Clear. But in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll use that extension. And if you don't know that how we'll uh, add that extension to your Autodex Revit that you can watch our previous lecture that link are also given in description and also you'll be able to download that extension from Autodex website. So after that just here see reinforcement and simply click here and see here columns okay see here columns so for columns here for columns just click here and wait for some time just see here and you can see that here is your column so you can see here the geometry of our column okay you can see the geometry of our column so here a says that means first of all this is uh, a is B that means height of beam okay height of beam then A is C actually uh, no need to define that value because already we have considered um, defined that value in our model okay now what we'll do actually we'll just go first of all bars here yeah, bars now number of bars we want to use I want to use number of five bar okay and here hooks if you need any hooks or not so here we'll not use any hook because we have provided dual bar here just say will not provide any hooks okay then here also hooks at bottom no will not use any hook at bottom also after that here uh, number of bars okay in a uh, bn reaction how much number of bar you want to use and also in uh, nba's direction how much number of bar you want to use actually uh, first time we are not able to define that data okay that's why we'll uh, we can see that we have provided here five default uh, rebar i mean dual bar that's why we have to provide five bar here i'll provide five bar here for first time okay and uh, if you need to change that i'll change that later okay now if you have any bundle bar in the corner of your column then you can you can use here that option bundle bar then it will use bundle bar here okay just see see if you need three bundle bar then you can use here three bundle bar it's up to you but i will not use any bundle bar here okay after completing that after completing that we'll just go here is drop will go here is straight up so how you want to define your straight up there are many ways to define your straight up somewhere actually there are three process okay so you can see that for your straight up okay for your straight up if you use that option the wheel option then we will be able to provide straight up in different spacing and it should be okay and holds also from here you will be able to find out which types of history you want to use so i want to use first of all the steps of history it's okay 
and uh, here the clear cover so i'll not change anything and hook what do you do the hook so i'll use here uh, the seismic hook and it's up to you that which types of hook you'll use now sn okay first of all what is the middle middle spc okay what is the middle spc so middle spc i'll consider it would be six okay and what will be the st here st the st will be i'll consider actually you will get that data from your detailing and your detailing concept so here i will consider our st will be four inch i mean mm, the reinforcement spacing at support and what is the uh, lt value of lt what is the lt actually this is the length of our i mean effective length of our that uh, supporting part of our support and here also part of our support so i'll consider that will be two feet okay i'll consider that will be two feet and now um, they have some issue tie up to slab tie up to beam okay so we'll consider tie up to beam we'll use that option tie up to beam okay when it's done now if you need any additional if you need any additional stood up okay then you can use that because our uh, that value will be like that one two three four five one two three four five so by clicking here they have many types of straight up you can use that okay for uh suppose if you need straight up like that that else you can use that then also if you need okay and uh, also suppose if you need straight up like that then also you can use that it's up to you actually so suppose we will use straight up like that we're considering that okay so when it's done now we'll go for dual bar as we have already provided dual bar that's why we'll not use any kinds of dual bar anymore that's why i'll uncheck here then reinforcement area you can see the value here okay you can see the value here position and uh requirement of reinforcement here but we'll not use uh, that option anymore so when when it's done i'll simply click okay and uh, its reinforcement generation is in progress so we'll check what is that so when it's done i'll just come here okay i'll just come here and in 3d view i'll see is it okay or not just see here one thing we have done one thing we have done that is our that dual bar position and our that other reinforcement position that are not in same direction okay that are not in same direction that's why i again i'll click here click on it and i'll go extension and i'll go columns okay so you are seeing here everything is okay here everything is okay just one thing i will do i will change that value so here i will provide two and here i will provide five okay here i'll provide two and here i'll provide five and after that again i'll go oh, click okay let's see this time maybe it's okay yeah this time it's okay right now I will just change that option wireframe okay save that project okay and from wireframe I will select our reinforcement okay from here I will select our reinforcement so I have selected reinforcement okay here in different categories reinforcement but just i'll just come here and I'll, I'll select all of our reinforcement okay literally so that on then that on otherwise you can go here level you can zoom it and from that position okay level one 
we I'll say I'll go in level three okay or I'll go in level two so that I can see our reinforcement perfectly so here this is the reinforcement I mean our dual reinforcement right so again I'll just go ahead level three and from level that level we are not able to select that okay so I'll come here and I'll press control then I'll click that on and that on I'll carefully select all of our columns river that column that that on okay and also maybe that on by pressing shift I'll move little bit maybe I have to select that on and that on and also we can do another thing we can do another thing like how okay I'll show you uh, about that later so after that I'll just go here view visibility states and from here I'll make it 3d for that two one I'll just click ok just see sorry here we didn't that on I mean we didn't select that on so here I'll again select them and simply ok so it's done right we have just completed that now if I just go down just see and if I go in the realistic view now we'll be able to see that now we'll be able to see that but how perfectly that joint are working here now simply we have to uh, use that joint and when it's done again I'll go in realistic I mean uh, wireframe view and from here I'll select reinforcement that reinforcement I mean uh, instead of a type then I'll press control and uh, that reinforcement also and I'll just go down and also that reinforcement okay I'll select that reinforcement when it's done now I'll again go here edit then we'll use that I mean we'll check that for option and okay just see or right, everything is okay now if I just go here go in realistic view I hope now it's okay right I hope now it's okay and uh, we have done that okay actually uh, this uh, showing outside of our data because uh, we have use a uh, clear spacing for that value is what of that that is a three inch but for that value that is 1.5 inch okay so now if we also consider clear cover for that then it will also be okay and uh, if you select that reinforcement then actually you can change that actually no need to change that at this time when we will create dual bar for that foundation then we will be able to complete that otherwise what we can do that we can we can remove our that dual bar from our foundation right so for that I will select that foundation and you can just go here for clear cover okay for clear cover here and uh, after that you, you can just go ahead extension then reinforcement then from here a split footing reinforcement you can click here and just see every data here provided we have provided that are available here okay and we have provided here clear cover two point yes something we have provided clear cover so if we provide clear cover uh, 1.15 and also for dual bar okay also for dual bar here uh, everything is okay 
for 12 bar i hope so okay for 12 bar we'll use number 5 bar number 5 bar if the if requirement any hook at top record hook 90 degree at bottom and straight up in pairs if you want to use straight up then on point 5 straight up for long pair so i think uh, it's okay and dual bar here are uh, 2 5 and uh, everything it should be like that at this time and if you need to change that actually already in previous lecture i have shown you that then i'll click ok and for that value then ok just wait for some time and see what happened uh, i'll just see sorry uh, actually in that side this is okay one two three four five and just see now this is under our reinforcement okay this is now under our reinforcement and how much number one two three four five six seven we have provided seven bar actually right this is a big issue and that side we have provided one two three four bar say so again i'll just go here to modify that respect for it everything will be same except for dual bar so for a dual bar will not provide any hook at bottom right and a number of bar will be three at n on is spacing uh, 2 and 3 and that value is okay after that i'll click okay and again we'll modify that okay just see now it's have been created lapping with our that value okay they have a lapping with our that value just see now everything is okay so i hope it's clear to you that how we'll create reinforcement detailing for our structure okay for our structure how we'll create that and uh when we'll complete all of our reinforcement detailing for all of our structure then we'll go for our schedule then will go for our i mean how we'll place that in sheet sheet i will also show you that so thank you thank you very much stay stay connected till next video